Howdy guys, I'm fellow 8 your favorite Wolf Hero enthusiast, and welcome to this brand new Let's Play. This is Fire Emblem Code of the Burger King, an FE8 hack made by Retina. Um, so right, I have been suggested this one or recommended this one a couple of times in my lovely Discord server, linked in the description below. I thought I'd give it a shot. I uh, got into contact with Retina, asked if I could play the hack, and sure enough, I, uh, I got permission. So we're going to give this one a shot. As the biggest Burger King fan that you know, whether you know it or not, I'm pretty qualified for this hack, I would say. Uh, we're going to be playing on difficult mode, but normal mode says pain, agony even. Nah, that's it swaps over once you pop off it. You can't even choose easy, by the way. Um, normal is for those who want to enjoy the story. Why? Of, of course, completely untested. And for those seeking a challenge, bootleg Souls of the Forest activated. Now, I've never played Souls of the Forest. I don't know what that exactly entails, but we'll be hopping in difficult. It's the tested one. It's the, the intended one, I would suppose. So let's see what happens. Prologue. The manager. I hope that we're going to be the Burger King. I'm pretty sure we are going by that, uh, that lovely intro screen. Welcome to Burger King. I shall take your order. Can I get... Uh... Uh... Number 15, Burger King Foot Olby Grass. <laughs> You're a dead man. <laughs> We're gonna go kill him. Alright, here we are. Kill the boss. Yeah, he's the boss, O'Neal. Certified comedy genius, of course. Let's see, he's just got a steel axe. Do we have to kill the customers too? Oh man, a customer at Burger King. Dang, they didn't do anything. I mean, they have weapons, I guess. Ooh, Iron Lance. Has no uh, durability. Interesting. Okay, so I guess the default weapons would just not have durability. Cool, cool. Let's see ourselves, though. Mr. Burger King with the Dark Affinity. The Burger King, a fry cook with no relation to a certain knight. Okay, awesome. He's the Burger Lord, a skilled fry cook. They possess great potential. Beautiful. Oh, likes and dislikes. Cool. Likes burgers and Sephirin. Skills, pivot at level 15. Okay, and Luna at 10 promoted. Awesome. So we're going to be getting some skills in this hack. This hack does use skills. We have Charisma, grants plus 10 hit and avoid to all allies within 3 tiles, and he has to supply. Awesome. His growths, okay. Uh, let's have a look at his bases first. 12 strength, 8 speed, okay. Kind of um, very min-max as far as I can tell. Uh, 60 strength, 25 magic, 60 skill, 30 speed, 35 luck, 60 defense, and 30 res. And 140 HP, awesome. 12 con, 2 leadership stars. I'm not sure what leadership stars entail in this particular hack, but I'm looking forward to finding out. Gotta go open this door over here and slaughter some customers. I guess they won't move until we do open the door. You're a dead man, he says. He's gonna go kill his customers over some number 15 Burger King foot Olvigrass. Olvigrass being the, uh, the item from, um, Tellius. You can make your Lagoos transform a little bit faster. Alright, let's whip out this Iron Sword and see how we're doing against this, uh, recruit. Let's see. Okay, yeah, we are the Burger King. They're not touching us. I mean, understandable. The customers don't really need to be fighting us. I guess they have had enough of the cashier. I wonder if the boss is going to move, actually. I haven't... Okay, I'm not... Oh, I am in his range, I think. No, yeah, I am. Ooh, okay. This customer is a little bit angry. He's got the fire tone. I do like the music, though. The music doesn't shift between, like, going in and out of battles. It just keeps playing. And it's a nice track, too. Let's see. Okay, the boss doesn't move. Cool, cool. Oh, man. The customers at Burger King. Well, I am a customer at Burger King very frequently. It's my favorite place to go, to go eat whenever I'm out and about. Um, as per the question of the day, what do you think is the best item on the Burger King menu? I always go for the, uh, the original chicken sandwich. A very quality choice for sure. Ouch, we're actually getting banged up a little bit. I, I have a feeling though that the axe dude with the, like, slim axe question mark isn't really gonna be doing a lot to us. Uh, I think it's a hatchet, um, which should be fine. Yeah, okay, he's probably not gonna be touching us really. Oh, yeah, we body him pretty easily. I don't want to use up the rapier too much. It is effective against horses and armors, but for this purpose, I am going to go ahead and dispatch this guy. He stepped into Burger King one too many times at the peak of rush hour, so uh, we can't be having any, any of that. Going to be getting a level up before you tackle the boss, too. Very cool. I hope that we get some speed. I would I would very much be a, um, a happy camper if we got some blessed speed Burger King. Um, let's see. So, I think we can just one-shot this guy, and then the boss should be without issue. Beautiful. I wonder if there's, like, a secret objective if you only kill the boss, not the other customers. Because he did only threaten the one guy. I don't know. I guess we'll, uh, uh, we probably won't find out, but... Oh, we did get speed. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, this, uh, this hack does use the strength and magic split, so I'm a little bit unused to how the menu ticks down whenever we level up. Used to speed being at the bottom. Beautiful. 
a little bit of a speed blessed um, Burger King to start off. Okay, so this guy will body up on us if we don't vulnerary. We'll go ahead and throw one down, see what happens. Oh wow, that heals a lot. I'll have to check and see how much that is. Let's see, and of course this map is very short, so we'll be doing one more. Can I get a number 15 Burger King foot Olvigress? Silence. Awesome. No such thing. No such luck, sir. Okay, so if we didn't dodge that one... No, 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 it would have been fine if, even if we didn't dodge that one. Um, we can freely attack now and finish him off on enemy phase. It is only kill boss. I wonder if you could kite the rest of the enemies around and maybe do something about that. I guess we'll never know. You can play this hack for yourself, though. Uh, maybe? Question mark? I actually am completely uncertain as to whether or not there's an FEU page for this hack. Um, but if there is, I will link it in the description, and if not, then join my Discord server. You can talk to Retina there and see about playing this game for yourself. Beautiful. Got that crit. I'd assume that's the uh, boss crit patch. What? Why? My joke was so original. <laughs> Beautiful. This game's writing is supposed to be pretty top-notch, so I'm looking forward to seeing how it goes. We start off with a very, um, you know, sort of like plain... Oh, oh we actually got 2 HP. Nice. Very plain opening. Very uh, Whopper-esque. Sir Knight, I just saw you kill that man. May I see your manager? I am the manager. Well, in any case, someone's bound to narc on you. Not a good look for the for a business when their employees commit murder, <laughs> true? I'd start running now. Do you dare threaten me? My hands are already stained. More blood won't change that. I see talking to you is a waste. Oh, it's Zephyrin. Nice. Selgius. What have you gotten yourself into this time? And why is the army outside? Zephyrin. It's a long story. We should probably start running now. Very well. I have a good idea on where we can hide. Come. Beautiful. Awesome. Okay, so the manager is us. Chapter 1, too far. Of course, we're going to hop straight into it. It's only been a couple minutes. I'm looking forward to this. The story's already starting to pick up from the uh, Burger King foot Olvigrass, the original joke. The only one to be vain. What is your plan, Zephyrin? If we're to head south from here, we should end up in Murado territory. I trust that we'll have an ally there. And if not, it's better than being here. Also, I brought your sword. Etar, I believe it's called. Though I could swear it was once known as a Londite. It appears we're not alone. The army is approaching. Let's move. Alright, so we're getting, uh, I guess it's Ike's sword, question mark? I'm not perfectly sure how the, uh, lore of that game is. Alright, cool, we've got that. Um, here's Seferin, the Duke of Belsus, question mark, and BK's close ally, the superior one-winged one angel. Alright. Seferin instead of Sephiroth, like Sanaki and Burger King. Miracle at level 10, supply at 5, promoted. Awesome. Starts as a light mage, no strength. <laughs> Magic, skill, speed, luck, defense, all looking pretty good, to be honest. A little bit of a low speed and defense growth. Um, very high luck, very good magic skill, great res, pretty solid HP. This is a unit that I can't complain about, and one that impresses me a lot. Boon, cures bad status effects at the beginning of each turn. Okay, so if you ever get hit by, like, stone, berserk, poison, he's all good. Got one leadership star. Go ahead and trade that item over to the Burger King. <laughs> or is it a Londite? <laughs> I guess we'll never know. I'm gonna give him the door key for now. I don't know if that'll come in handy, but it's better than it being in the supply, I suppose, for now. I would say that they have a support. There's no way they don't, right? Yeah, of course. Okay. Oh, actually, we're gonna be getting, getting a lot of supports, um, potentially. This is the light and dark affinity support that would give attack defense, and, um, well, attack and defense from Burger King, or, well, from Sephirin, and then crit in full. A little bit of hit rate in full as well. Okay, the army, you know, that army, of course, that army, that particular one. The, uh, specifically the United States Marines coming to arrest the Burger King. Baguette, of course, the troop commander of the army, known, um, hunting down the Burger King. We'll get a javelin if we defeat him. I would say we could probably bait that out and get the steel ants instead. I would very much be eager to do so. And luckily, seeing that iron blade too. Vulnerary. Alright, cool. Let's, uh, let's hop into this map. Let's see what happens. Got a couple of these. I noticed that the, uh... The knights and the, the cavaliers are split. Wait, heavily armored knights with poor movement. BK scoffs at them. Beautiful. That's so funny. Is there anything else? Impossible to balance mounts. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It really is. Uh, let's see. What about these? Is there anything else? Well-balanced professional soldiers for hire. Probably not getting paid. You're right. They're not. 100%. Mounted knights with swift movement. It's impossible to balance mounts. I totally agree. It's such a difficult task, but I uh, I commend the, uh, the meme. Their promotion is a mystery. Okay, cool. I'm looking forward to seeing what that entails. And we'll check out Pegasus Knight while we're here. Airborne Knights, too tiny to lift up an iron lance. True. Do they have the... Nope, their con is not fixed. I'm very glad it's not. Uh, let's see. Ruffians with great strength, but poor defense. Extra thick. Beautiful. And then Shaman. A dark mage. Bulky, but slower mages who use dark magic. Luna Opie. Beautiful. Paladin? What's Paladin? 
Maybe an experience team. Yep, you're right. Very well, maybe. All right, let's hop into this one and see what happens. BK arrives. Okay, so we've got a arrive right here. Cool. Let's see. This guy can't actually touch us in any way unless we specifically go to body him, which is kind of funny. Uh, and I think I'm going to do that because we have the rapier. Let's see what Zephyrin's doing. Uh, I guess we could sneak down through this way if we really wanted to. I don't see a particular reason to go this way. I guess we'll find out very soon. Oh, the sport's already active. Cool. I I'm gonna go for it. I think that the light and dark one is, um, relatively slept on. Zelgus, what is it? Nothing, really. It's just been a while since we've had a chance to talk. You speak to me before every single battle. I mean, just talk as in a relaxed conversation between friends. Ah, of course. Well then, what's crack -a lacking Heh, <laughs> not much. I wonder how Sanaki's been. I'm sure she's fine without us. Benyon's a strong state. Indeed. I've never been good at casual conversation. We should probably focus on the battle now. Very well. Well, let's try this again sometime. Of course. We'll, we'll definitely max out that support. I think they're going to be very good um, platonic friends, most definitely. Of course, there's no other subtext. <laughs> anyway. Ooh. Okay, bodied up on him. Did over 100 damage in one shot. I see why he scoffs at them. They are baby mode in comparison to the lovely, mysterious Burger King. Who is, um, of course, not related to any other knights with the same initials. Okay, so these guys are moving in. I think that we're going to be able to... Okay, so yeah, they're they're wanting to come through the forest. I think we can probably body up on this guy pretty easily uh, with the rapier. And then maybe swap over to the Eddard. Um, yeah, we'll just, we'll just rapier this one. Sounds good to me. I like the music choices. I have noticed that the music choices throughout this game have been very much... Um, would I say enhanced? <laughs> it depends on what you uh, what you describe as enhancing. Let's make sure we don't get killed by this guy. With the shine tone, we don't get doubled either, so we'll we'll be all good. Um, it's one two range. I might just swap over to the iron sword. I'm pretty sure I can get through this guy regardless. Yeah, especially if I attack. Beautiful Sephirin palette. I noticed noticed that he's not promoted or anything yet. Makes perfect sense considering the circumstances. Wouldn't want to throw down a uh, promoted bishop at the start of the game. It's a very, um, very tricky class to balance, for sure. Of course, you know, balance may very well be out the window. If it is, I don't blame him at all. I've heard that the story is great, but I've also heard the gameplay is pretty good, so I'm looking forward to seeing how this um, unfolds. The first map is obviously quite a bit of a meme, but otherwise, looking forward. Oh, hey. Oh, it's Fiona. Okay. What the? Who are these troops? They seem to be converging on that restaurant. <laughs> oh, it, okay, so that's a restaurant. Hmm. Isn't that where the night works? In any case, I can't risk any aggressions against Murado. It's time for me to ride once again for the sake of my people. Beautiful. Okay, so here's Fiona, and she starts off as a paladin by the look of things. Uh, all it took was a hundred turns of glare abuse, guys. Yep. Maybe an experienced thief. She's got savior. That's a cool skill. That essentially means that if she rescues somebody, she isn't way down. Oh. Steel, uh, steel bow. So she uses lances and bows? Is that it? Okay, that's a pretty cool one for her. Likes her people and Micaiah gets imbue at 5 promoted and celerity at 5. Celerity on a paladin at 15 promoted though, of course. That's going to take quite a while, considering she's level 1. Let's see her growth rates. 40 strength, 40 skill, 60 speed, 55 luck, 55 defense, and 50 res. And then 45 HP with a 35 base. This is a pretty strong unit actually. This is a, uh, a long term paladin. 40% strength is perhaps a little bit deceiving. It's not that bad. In fact, it's pretty good considering the rest of her stats being, like, above 50. Um, of course, I, you never know. Like, the game may mix up how the, uh, the, the function of the, the stats ends up working on the long term. As you can see, these guys have already got 10 strength out the gate. 18 damage. Alright, we'll just plop her down right here. Maybe Iron Lance it up. I think that'll work. I think we'll just do the full movement. Uh, specifically, BK has to arrive here, so I would assume that the game wouldn't just end upon Fiona standing back on her own hometown. Um, this is, this, yeah, this being Burger King makes perfect sense. Let's see, we'll, we'll just stop right here. Uh, yeah, and I'll trade over the, we'll let, we'll let them share vulnerabilities a little bit. It's kind of cute, kind of adorable. <laughs> I kind of like the idea of, oh, also I still need to check and see how much, um, that, that actually heals. But, uh, I'll, oh, that's a clean palette for Fiona. Is she gonna one round? I hope so. Come on, you've got the speed. There's no way you don't. Beautiful. A little bit of an experienced thief, that's all good. Uh, I very much enjoy how Iron Lances and Iron Weaponry in general is sort of like not beholden to the whole, you know, weapon breaking thing. It's an ex it's a concept that I haven't really explored at length. Um, I do like, generally speaking, when, when weapons break, but buying Iron Weapons at a certain point doesn't really matter that much. Ooh, they're all going for Fiona. 
Um, oh, right, okay, I got pranked. We shall not fail, we must kill the Burger King. That's a really good palette for him, too. I am impressed by the uh, sprite work, the artwork, and everything so far. Okay, so I'm gonna have to back off a little bit and hopefully stand in his range with the steel bow equipped rather than um, anything else. Okay, we can we can kill him on the second turn. I'll just have to get back to uh, where I was standing previously. He'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so he will be able to reach me regardless. Um, that's a little bit awkward, but I guess I can. Can I run through the forest? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Okay, so no, not really. I can get on the mountain though, and that's kind of cool. That's a lot of avoid. What do you guys have? St uh, sword and uh, iron lance. This guy can't really touch me. This one's got a hand axe. Okay, so that was very much intended. I'm very much digging the map design so far. Um, so if I do stand here with the bow, I can kill this guy, which I think might be kind of big on the long term. What's what's he doing to me with the uh, bow equipped? Okay, so he probably hits. Um, how much did these guys do? Iron lance equipped. Okay, these guys are basically free. Um, yeah, as long as I heal up, which I do need to check how much the vulnerabilities are. Restores 20 HP. Okay, that's a very big, very hefty um, improvement. I guess one way I could do this is, um, let's see, so the boss wanted to move last. If that's the case, I could stand on this forest in particular uh, with a bow equipped. Kill both of these, well, no, I wouldn't, no, I would kill both of these two and then this guy would attack me up close. And then I would have, like, the full leverage of the forest to get out of here. So we'll equip bow and heal up. And hopefully that'll work. Um... I hope that the Cavaliers don't want to move up top, but it does make the most sense, considering that's the most direct route uh, to Fiona. Okay, so Seferin can kill this guy, but I do kind of want to get the um, the Iron Blade. I guess it doesn't really matter that much. The uh, movement is not going to be that different between the two. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and body up on this guy, and um, I guess since Burger King's damaged anyway, we can trade that weapon over and let him take another sip from the shared vulnerary that he and Seferin making great use of Iron Blade. Uh, I guess, yeah, we can just send it the convoy. That's fine, too. But, of course, it's very adorable, very cute, so we have to. Um, I do, I'm very much looking forward to using this, by the way, a 1-2 range BRF weapon. Not something that you get to see a lot of, short of, like, perhaps somebody modding the Reg and Leaf be 1-2 range or something. Okay, so those guys move just about how I wanted them to, actually, so that's pretty good. That is a very clean- I, I'm just impressed. The the Team Salvage Paladin animations are honestly just some of my favorite animations. I'm not, I'm not like super big on the sword one, but we don't have to see the sword one. We just can see the bow one and the lance one, of course. Alright, this guy is going to hopefully not hit. Okay, of course. I don't have any luck when it comes to these things. But, uh, let's see. He's gonna kill me, isn't he? Because he's got the steel lance. But the steel lance might miss because I'm on a forest as the paladin with high speed. And who is not getting weighed down by the bow? Right? Okay, I'm not getting killed. Cool. Excellent. Planned and intended, most certainly. I promise you. Most definitely. I calculated that. More are coming. Expect some company from the north imminently. Okay. Uh, from the north. That's less than good. Uh, let's see. So we can't kill him right away. I guess that's okay, though. We can body up on this guy, equip the rapier. Uh, if I... Yeah, I'll just, I'll just hit him with the rapier once, and then he'll... Uh, okay, so he can attack... So this will be three movement for him. One, two, three, and then he can't move to here. Um, and then if I got Burger King, okay. So that works. I can just do this. Pretty free of charge. Ooh, that is a cool palette, or a cool animation for the uh, Myrmidon. Now, we're not going to get to see it attack us this um, this chapter, it seems. But other than that, it does look pretty cool. I believe that's the um, the Samurai palette, or uh, animation. It's a very good one, indeed. All right, another level up. Let's get more speed, Burger King. Come on. We, we all know that we want to speed bless Burger King. Yes, more speed. Wow, he's really good. He got plus 2 HP again, too. Keeps getting that strength as well. Also, I used the Iron Sword instead of the Rapier, but I guess that's okay. Uh, let's see, if I can get... Ooh, no, I can't quite get away from him either way. I'll run back this way, probably equip the... I'll just I'll just leave that equipped, um, the Iron Lance, that is. This guy can't really do anything to me, especially on a forest. 4 damage, this guy would do 18... Minus my 12 defense, so 6 damage, minus 1 on the forest. Yep, if I stand right here, I am pretty darn satisfied. I'll just roll Yep, I am very thankful that it's 20 HP now, because otherwise I would be in a lot of danger. Um, I still might be in a lot of danger, actually, since he's doing pretty good damage to me, but I think he's going to swap over to the Javelin now, since that's how most of the time enemies want to function in GBA. Very good crit, not needing to um, use the Rapier as a result. 
very, very clean. I'm very much enjoying the map design so far. The enemies just feel well placed. Uh, maybe I'm just getting lucky, or maybe I'm out maneuvering them or something. I don't know. But uh, it's feeling very fun so far. Okay, so if I do get hit by the other guy, he will attack me with the Steel Lance and kill me subsequently. Um, they, di they did say it was Code of the... Uh, or not Code of the Black Knights. Never Code of the Black Knights. That's that's part of the meme. Um, uh, Souls of the Forest. Please don't hit. Okay, cool. Souls of the Forest inspired difficulty, which is... Um, I've never played that game, but apparently it's really hard. I've heard that people have rage quit that game, like, on repeat. Uh, so... I don't know, hopefully it's not that bad. I'm not much of a rage quitter, but I am uh, very much looking forward to it regardless. Good dodge. That's gonna get me back to full HP. The vulnerary is with five use and 20 HP healing. Ooh, very satisfying. Uh, that's a little bit bad for Mr. Sephirin, because I think he gets two shot. Oh, actually he doesn't, cool. Black Knight can, or Burger King rather, it can just kill this guy out the gate very cleanly at that. Um. And then I think we're good to go. Just kind of stand here for a little bit. I do want to make sure that the uh, the Shine Dome doesn't weigh me down too much. I do need to check the weight on that uh, in comparison to his con. Okay, so it seems like um, tomes are very much scaled down in the weight. I'm, I'm a fan of that change. Uh, so he will not get doubled regardless. Beautiful. Um, I could stand on the mountain as well. And that might be better than attacking here. But I will kill one of them if I attack, so I'm going to do that. Or I'll kill it on enemy face, that is. Regardless of who he wants to attack. He'll probably attack Sephirin just because he's a little bit on the more defensively squishy side. Uh, let's see, can we throw down Silverlands? Nah, not quite. Um, let's see, how, how could I do this in a way that sort of makes me come out on top? I was thinking if I move here and equip the bow, then this Cavalier, let's see, he'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? He has at least 7 move. Yeah, he still has 7 move. Cavalier will move first. He'll go here. Which, then again, he'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and still be able to attack me, regardless of what I want to do. But maybe if I go here, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then he attacks me. And he would have to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so I can, I can stand here with the bow equipped, vulnerary up, and then I can force the boss to attack me from 2 range, I think. Assuming that the boss moves last, which I'm pretty sure we have determined. Uh, okay. So, Burger King, yeah, he's fine. The crit on the rapier is so much that it's, like, almost excessive. It's weird that they're going for him instead of for Sephirin. I was worried for a second that he was going to get doubled. That would have made more sense. I guess I just want to use up my good weapons. Or maybe if they see it's uh, weapon triangle advantage. I'm not perfectly sure. Maybe the AI has seen a change. I would be down for that. I already know the AI of this game pretty well, so... Which... Then again, I know the AI of the- please get speed. Ah, he keeps getting 2, two HP though. I feel like that's gotta be pretty lucky. He's got like, what, like 130 I believe? Ah, he moved the wrong way, shoot. Uh, I guess that makes sense actually. I think he might have just been out of range. Well, anyway, he uh, let's see, how do I want to tackle this now? The boss has like, oh, well then, <laughs> interesting. Interesting maneuver, as they would say. Uh, okay, so these do a little bit less. I can kill one of these. I wonder how many phases of reinforcements there are going to be, because this is about to get really bad for us. Um, I can attack this one pretty free of charge, and then kill the, uh, kill the lance dude once more. Okay, magic speed. I wonder what strength does if there's, like, so, like, there's obviously the strength magic split. I wonder what strength and magic do for each other. Um, let's see, let's see, how does this work precisely? I can't really tell the difference with regard to how much this is doing, 26 damage minus, so this would be like, okay, so 26 minus the, wait, hold on, my brain just completely shut off there, as usual, 26, and then minus 4, 22, but it would be 20, 23 because weapon triangle, right, or less, okay, so it seems like weapon triangle is affected as well, maybe it's hitting res, is that the thing that it's doing, I'm not perfectly sure, let's see, so 19 damage against this guy, we're doing 26 minus the 5 defense, but then it would be also minus 1 because weapon triangle, so it should be doing 20. It seems like weapon triangle bonuses have been doubled, which is a cool change. Making the weapon triangle impactful is always a plus in my book. Um, let's see. So the Burger King's going to get attacked again. He's going to be put down to really low HP. I need to get Fiona up here like ASAP if that's going to be the case. I'll just equip the Iron Lance so that the dude keeps throwing... 
um, Javelin at me instead. If I can get Fiona up here, she'll be a big help. Fiona is surprisingly, well, quote unquote, surprisingly good. Ooh, okay, good dodge. That's kind of impactful, actually. We'll go ahead and shine this guy on the next turn, and then presumably the other one will die to the, uh, the Black Knight. Uh, as long as there are no more reinforcements. If there are, then that's a little bit bad. All right, cool. That makes sense. Please crit. Ah, shoot. Would have been nice, most certainly. Um, let's see. I hope there are not another way, because if there are, I'm not perfectly sure how I'm going, going to tackle that. This one dies free of charge, and then, yeah, like I said, the boss should just javelin. I think I'm going to be getting to the point where I can escape the boss's range through all these forests. Um, I should be able to shoot one of those pegs this nice as well. Okay, especially if he moves there, that's going to be really helpful. Good dodge, baguettes. Um, okay, so there's one guy over there. Oh, okay, they make, like, the, the Pegasus Knight sound effects, but that's funny. Okay, we'll just kill that guy free of charge. We'll kill this one free of charge, just so it's a transaction at Burger King, of course. Uh, we'll kill the Hand Axe one pretty easily, I would say. Well, actually, maybe we shouldn't do that, unless we can kill this Pegasus Knight with Fiona, which I may be able to. Uh, now I'm just out of range. So, let's see, assuming that this guy does 5 damage to me, this one will do nothing because I'm going to kill him. Then Steel Axe is going to hurt a little bit. Ooh. Okay, so 28 damage. Uh, 27. Well, 26 because it's the doubled weapon triangle. So 12 damage. 12 plus 5 is 17, and I should be more than fine. Um, yeah, and as soon as we get the, um, excuse me, as soon as we get the B rank support with uh, Sephirin, he will be giving us plus 1 to defense and attack. Of course, that does require the B support. Maybe I should just go for the B support on those two because that's as far as the attack bonus is going to go. We will be getting full crit from the um, support, of course, and that's kind of nice, but ultimately, eh. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, if I stand here with the bow equipped, then he should shoot. He should attack into me like that. I'm pretty sure this time. Maybe I'll even bait out the Pegasus Knight. I sure hope so. I would love a dodge here, too. That'd be kind of uh, spectacular. Of course not, though. Um, I'm pretty sure that I've already calculated that we survive against the Pegasus Knight. We should still be in support range. Unless something's changed. If it has, then I'm a little bit sad, because supports are basically perfect. Come on, more speed. Shoot. Well, we got two points. I can't really be too mad about that. Got the B-rank weapons. I will have to check to see what his, um... Okay, cool. Awesome. Goes for me. Because I am unable to attack back. I'm gonna have to see what the, um... Let's see. What the, uh, capabilities are. I completely forgot what I was gonna say. Never mind. Fiona is going to attack into the sky. Get some good damage. I, I, right, I was gonna say that I have to check that village down there and see what's in there. I definitely want to know. Post haste. Um, okay, can we kill this guy? Almost. Can we kill the other one, maybe? Does he have a pointless res? Does not, actually. Uh, I think we can survive that one, but not this one, so we'll kill this one. Should be able to... Let's see, I mean, if, if I got it, great, that'd be kind of great. We survived this one on perfect HP. I guess we could just run away. Do a little bit of healing. I think that might be the play a little bit. Um, he will attack into the Burger King, so I shouldn't really be worried. Shine is good to go. I think what I'll do is I will stand... Let's see, if I stand here, he'll attack me. I was going to say I could shoot this one, shoot the Pegasus Knight, but I, I guess I could just kill the boss too. That might be the play, as compared to literally anything else. Because um, this will run back, attack one of these guys. They can't be attacked by the steel steel axe one, so that's fine. Um, okay, so the hand axe will... That can't reach. That could reach in theory, so I will have to stand here no matter what, whether I kill this guy or shoot the Pegasus. Um, with the steel ants, he'll be doing... Oh, actually, no, that's true. I... Hmm. Do I want the steel ants? I do have an entire silver lance, which is 17 might, by the way. That's kind of crazy. Um, Tencon. Pretty cool. Ice Affinity, though. That's a little bit odd. Um, well, it's not odd. It's actually good for the Jagan, but it's odd for my purposes, since that's probably my le second least favorite affinity. Um, let's see. So if I kill this guy now, I get the Steel Lance. Do I want the Javelin, though? Hmm. That is a good question. Do I want the Javelin or the Steel Lance? Javelins are super useful. I see that they have not been nerfed. I am very happy to see that. Um... In, in fact, perhaps they've been buffed, question mark, because they usually have 11 weight. I think I kind of want the javelin. I think I'm going to shoot this guy. Um, that said, I do need to make sure I survive. 18 damage. Minus 1 because the forest. 
It is minus one, right? Yeah. Minus one from the forest. 18 damage. He'll be doing five. He'll be doing, I think it was like 15 while I'm in the forest or something. Maybe it's 16. But if that's the case, I think I die. Well, I guess I'm going to have to, um, I guess I'm just going to have to settle for the steel ants, unfortunately. Ah, uh, well. Oh, nice crit, though. Yeah, that has to be the, uh, the boss crit patch. Dang it. Do not let the knight escape. Well, <laughs> I have some bad news for you, buddy. The Burger King is on his way to McDonald's. Ooh, that is a good level up. No strength, but everything else I'm pretty happy with. Go ahead and send these steel ants back for now. Um, I would say it's... I, I could mega brain power this and keep the Pegasus Knight on me by sending the Silver Lance back. And that would be most certainly good. Um, it will mean that the Cavalier can attack me and stuff, but that's not really a big deal. I can kill the Cavalier and the Pegasus Knight is not an issue. Um, I might just keep the bow equipped. Imagine Fiona with like S-rank bows as opposed to S-rank lances. I would say that'd be pretty hard to get going, but that sounds like fun. Okay, cool. He goes for him. Um, keeps him up on that side. A little bit awkward movement for my purposes, but I can one-shot the other one and then kill him on the subsequent turn. Uh, steel. I mean, I don't even have to do that necessarily. I could just attack into him with lightning and then kill him with an iron sword so I don't have to waste the rapier too much. I'll, I'll, honestly, I'll probably stand there with the, uh, the Etard so that I can, you know, kill the other one on the enemy phase. I think that'll work out anyway. Uh, not quite, actually. He's... Yeah, this, this is a mountain dial. That makes perfect sense. So we'll go ahead and do one of these. We do have a talk conversation with Fiona down there that I'm looking forward to getting into. All the conversations so far seem to be pretty funny, so... Um, but let's see how far off she is from S-rank bows as opposed to lances. Pretty far off. I would have to make a concerted effort, but I can I can afford to do that as of right now, so we'll see how that goes. Very nice crit. Not often you get to see that one. Wonder if we're going to be getting an iron bow at some point. That'd be kind of nice. The steel bow does give more weapon experience, if I'm not mistaken, so I'm not too mad about it. Very good dodge. Hexus Knight is hounding me. <laughs> I mean, it's my fault because I, you know, allow it to do so. Alright, taking this map a little bit slow, but that's more than acceptable. I'll stand here with this. I just want to see what the animation is before we call this chapter. But we do have a talk conversation. Is that you, Seferin? What are you doing all the way out here? It's complicated. Rest assured, it'll be a, lo a long while before Celia serves any more customers. I was going to ask for your assistance in this battle, but it seems you beat me to it. Well, can't risk anything happening to my people. Certainly. If my beloved people of Begno Benyon were in danger, I'd spare nothing to save them. Okay, so maybe I brought about the end of the world. <laughs> but, <laughs> that was a one-time thing. The Senate drove me mad. I get it. Some days we all wish we could incur Arm Armageddon. Yeah, I guess we do. That is a very rel relatable point. Uh, I'm I'm not well-read when it comes to the FE 9 and 10 story. I haven't actually finished FE 10. I made it to the start of part 4. Good level up, by the way. Really good level up. I made it to the start of part 4, and then I lost my save file, so... A little bit of a rippy dippy on that one, but I, I generally understand the gist of the story, so this should be fun. Uh, let's see, so that armor knight should attack into me. I do want to grab that village pretty as soon as possible, if at all possible. Uh, okay, so let's see this animation. Okay, cool. Very, very clean, fast. You love to see it. Um, I think that I'm going to let Fiona get that kill, and then subsequently go for the village. Uh, we'll go ahead and get this talk conversation, though. Hmm, guess I was on right on the money there. Lady Fiona, I must ask some, something of you. There's been an incident. Can we hide at your manor until this is over? To think the famed hero of Dane would ask a favor of me. Anything for you, Sir Knight. I thank you. With our might combined, we can surely combat any opponents. We most certainly can. There's no doubt about that. Fiona is very able. Another crit? Cool. Yeah, Fiona is very able to um, do whatever that may be anything that the knight would ask. She's very impressive as compared to her incarnation in FE10. Uh, I never ended up actually using her due to her impressiveness in FE10. Okay, let's let's get a move on. I hope that the village doesn't require the Black Knight to village it to village it to visit it. Be kinda nice if anyone can. I'm I'm sure that that's the case. It's very rare that you see that done opposite. Um wonder if Sephirin gets anything for arriving. It'd be pretty funny if you could just immediately have Fiona arrive upon, you know, her joining, and then she just disappears from the map. 
throws you a game over or something. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so, Steel Bow. Wow, she's a crit machine. I wonder if it's because her, her skill's so high. Or maybe if she has a little bit of, um, a crit rate on the bow. Is that the case? It's because she has 20 skill, actually. It's it, She has 10 crit by default. That guy must have just had zero luck. Very beautiful. What are we getting here? Do I know you? Are you just barging into our village to get free stuff? I see. You're on the run. Well, we precious little that we can help you out, or that can help you out. This is the best we can do. Good luck out there. A Lance Reaver. That is a pretty big help, I will say. Very nice. Alright, let's get down here. I'm not going to um, support her with either of these two yet. The uh, best case scenario would be supporting a Recephrin for double defense, but it doesn't really give anything else, so I'm not going to. Thank you, my lady. Anything for the Hero of Dayan. Anyway, what is your plan? Clearly, you cannot return to the restaurant lest you be trapped. Hmm. This army is coming out of nowhere, or this army coming out of nowhere feels suspicious. Nothing I've ever seen on this vaguely defined continent. <laughs> continent. They're clearly, they clearly seem to be out for me, so the best course of action is running. I'll make contact with some mercenaries. We'll need all the power we can get. Tomorrow, we'll start the long trek towards Port Escapo. <laughs> Would it, uh, would it be too much to ask you to accompany, accompany us, Fiona? Your skill is an immeasurable balloon. That was my plan. I can't risk this army terrorizing my people, so I'll do whatever it takes to fight them. I mean, if you leave your hometown, they're probably going to terrorize them, but I guess that's fine. And just like that, the first two maps come to a close. Well, I'm very much looking forward to the future of this hack. It seems like a lot of fun so far. I will say, I was expecting the story to be the selling point, but I'm very happy to see that the, um, the map design hasn't been left in the dust at all. The first, well, the first map was obviously a little bit of a meme, but the uh, second map was very fluid, very open. Didn't really feel like there was a correct or incorrect answer to tackling it. There was, like, some pretty clear difficulty in that you could have lost if you really, like, didn't play correctly. Of course, I would never do anything like that, you know. There is no chance that I could have lost at any point in this map, of course. Um, but it did feel very fun overall, despite my luck. Um, I guess it's about all I have to say, though, for this map. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Make sure to like the video. It really helps out a lot. And uh, share this video with friends so that more people can see this fantastic hack for themselves. Uh, and I guess join the Discord if you want to um, speak with Retina, the creator of this hack, and um, potentially play it for yourself. Like I said, I'm not, you know, perfectly sure as to what the logistics of that are. But um, I guess that's about all I have to say. If you feel like supporting me on Ko-fi, feel free. Very much appreciated, of course. And uh, until next time, see you later.